but today back for another video guys i'm taking my daughter to school it's gonna be her second time inside of a school the first time was to go to her to go do her gt testing at a whole different school that she don't even go to in a whole different district and she was there for four hours and that was not that long ago that was a couple of weeks ago and now today she has to go into a school her normal school where all her friends are at to go do her star writing test we yeah we are virtual but over here it's just crazy man they're still making the kids come to school for certain things like my son he has to go three times out the week just for band for him to stay in band and like i said thousand times he works so hard for band there's no way i'm taking him out of band there's there's just no way he's been doing bands in sixth grade and he's in 10th grade now and he's got trophy certificates all type of stuff from bands so there's no way i take him out so long story short man i feel like they're not giving us no choice you know like right now my daughter is a wreck she don't even want to go to school but she has to you know but i did recommend for her to sit in the council office with the teacher i mean with the counselor and they'll call me when she's ready so hopefully she's more comfortable with that because i'm not gonna lie she is saying she's nervous and she's really don't want to go but you know we have to so you nervous with her no i am i don't feel like going to that school because i feel new it's like my first time like... you feel like it's your first time i mean you went inside the school that other school but this time she's going inside her normal school that she's been going to for years. She's not going to see any of her friends. She's probably going to see them, but she's not going to be able to talk to nobody or anything because I recommended that she stays in the counselor's office with the counselor. Until she's done, then they give me a call and I can pick her up. Because as y'all can see, she's not crazy about going to school. She's nervous, but that's just the way Maya is. Y'all know Maya? Maya's a nervous purpose. <laughs> she's like her mom. She's like her mom. We get nervous, but she'll be okay. Yeah, but the counselor is gonna be right there with you. Baby. I told them for you to stay in the uh, uh, office with the counselor. So the counselor's gonna be with you. So you'll be all right. You're not gonna be with nobody. You're not gonna be around nobody. I already told them that. Mom. <clears throat> and it's not gonna only be you, because there was another mom on there too on our chat, and she was saying too, she wanted her daughter isolated from everybody else. And that's, that's what I recommended too. So that's what we're gonna do. But you know, just know that, that it's like a normal school day right now. There's a lot of kids in there. You go to the restroom, you have your wipes, you have everything you need. If you can hold your, your restroom till you get home, then do that. That'll be good too. But mom, but mom, but mom, but mom, how do I know if I feel safe with her? If I, if I don't even know if she's positive. No, just don't get just don't get by nobody, baby. That's it. And always, always make sure your mask is on. Your mask has to stay on. like about my daughter she's really responsible like she knows how serious this stuff is and she knows she has to take care of herself and protect herself and she's a big girl like she's really good that i'm more comfortable with her i mean i'm not comfortable with her going to the building at all period but i'm more comfortable i'm a little comfortable with her doing it because i know she's she's bad like i know the way maya is she's gonna be like don't touch me don't hug me that's the way she is because just she does that right now she don't like to hug people it just she's scared who who would ever thought that we would be scared to send our kids to school it would be scared for them to talk to their friends it's crazy right it's crazy what this world came to i can't wait till all this is said and done with because you know i know my kids are not the only kids that want to go back to school i know my kids want to go back but then right now maya said i thought i wanted to go back and now that it's time for me to go back for one day i'm nervous <laughs> I would like to go to school. I'm still be nervous, even though COVID-19 is not here. It's just, that's what gets me excited. But during this COVID-19, I feel really scared right now. I can't even breathe. I feel like I'm having anxiety. You're not having anxiety. She could, she could swear up and down, guys, that she gets anxiety. <laughs> I'm actually for real. I can't breathe. That's how scared I am right now. You'll be okay. All right, bye, my amor. It's okay, my amor. Don't be nervous. <laughs> it's okay. Don't be nervous. I'll see you later, okay, my amor? Good luck. Mama loves you. Hey, Don't cry. No, I'm not gonna cry. I just feel scared. <laughs> Remember, go right to the front. Tell them you're here for the counselor. Okay. Good luck, mi amor. Bye. Bye. My baby's scared. <laughs> make sure that she gets in there. All right, so I'm back. <laughs> that was the hardest thing ever. She's only 10, you know what I'm talking about? She shouldn't be scared. 
to go to school. It's crazy. I don't want to be a hot mess early in the goddamn morning. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, y'all see I dropped her off. I did shed a couple of tears because, you know, it's just scary, you know. It's just scary that you have to just throw your kids out there and you have to, like, chance it. And I don't like to see my kids scared. <clears throat> but I know she's a big girl. I know she'll she'll do what she has to do, you know. I just never ever thought that I would be scared for my kids to go to school. You know. I know they miss school, they miss their friends, but I know honestly they they're scared to go back. I know Maya, because that's the way Maya is. Maya that lady's looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> Maya is um a smart girl, so I know she got stuff. <clears throat> All right, guys. I made it back to my house. I had to get myself together as I cried a little bit, honestly, because I know she was nervous. And, you know, it's just scary and just very crazy that, you know, some kids are scared to go to school. I know mine's are. You know, like she said right now, oh, my God, I was so excited about coming, and now that's time to come. Now I'm so scared. I don't want nobody to touch me. You know, she's just a wreck. And I felt really bad, so that's why I couldn't record right after I left because I was kind of a mess. I started crying and stuff. So my hair's up. I was just like nervous, purpose. But Maya's a very, very smart, sweet girl, and she she knows you know what to do and what not to do, you know. So I trust it. See, like if it was my third grader, my nine year old, which she's nine too, but she's going to be ten um, on the eighteenth, February eighteenth, and my son. Uh, he's nine too. They're nine for two weeks. They're the same age for two weeks. My son and my daughter. But my daughter's about to be ten. So, but um, see, if it was my son, my my nine year old, um, my third grader, because she's in fourth, I would have been more of a wreck because he's just kind of everywhere, you know, and it's hard for him to just stay still in one spot for so long. And you know, that's why when he did his testing, I was like, look. But good thing it helped me out, and I got to do it from home, from virtual, because he is on medication and stuff so i was like hey you know <laughs> he cannot go to that school he cannot because he's not gonna keep that mask on he's not gonna keep his gloves on he um he's just not you know he he, he just he starts feeling real claustrophobic um and um i know he would not he would not kept it on so um i was nervous for my daughter but you know there's people passing by <laughs> but i know she'll be all right you know i just shed some tears because i know she'll be really nervous and it breaks my heart because you know as parents you know we want to protect our kids and do whatever makes them comfortable and um you know make them comfortable you know and and smother them and you know be there for them and it's scary that sometimes you gotta just throw them out to this crazy world and just tell them you know good luck <laughs> like you know, it's just, it's just crazy. I I remember when all my, my all my kids first started school. I cried when all my kids started school. When I had to leave all my kids, I, I cried with every single one. I literally cried outside the school or I cried in the school, outside the, out the classroom. Their first days of school because it's hard, you know? And you know you gotta, you gotta throw your kids out to this crazy world, man. It's a crazy, cra especially right now. You know, I don't, I don't put any pregnancies on nobody, honestly. I don't think right now is the time to be having kids and to be in the living room to bring kids to this world and this pandemic. I, I just think, I just think hold your pregnancies for a while until all this is said and done with. Cause you know, I don't know how the parents are doing it. The ones that their kids are barely going to school this year, you know, and this is their first year. I can't even imagine, but you know, like I said, it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy when our kids, when our kids get that age and we gotta just throw them out to the, to this crazy world and to these schools and tell them just be careful and protect yourself. and. Cause you know, you know this. My daughter, this one right here, she's always been getting bullied since she started school, cause of her color. But thank God that she's doing way better with that. And now she's like, I don't care if I'm dark skinned. I'm beautiful. If you don't like it, that's your business. Cause I had to teach her how to be like that. I didn't want to, but I'm like, you know what? Either she's gonna have to learn how to be mean. Because Maya was real nice. Maya is real nice. Maya's like me. She'll give you her bracelet, her necklace, her earrings right off of her. And she'll give them to you. Oh, you like them? You can have them. That's the way I am. And that's the way Maya is. Maya is just like that. Maya was literally giving people giving people all her stuff so they won't bully her. That's how bad it was with her. But we stopped that. And now she's more like the bully. <laughs> but um, not to everybody else. You know, not to no kids or anything. But, you know, 
she's a little bit more mean a little bit more tough and she's not gonna take nobody's bull crap so you know um I'm excited for her and I hope her date goes really really good I'm gonna be calling the school right now when I get off this camera and um see if I could take her some drinks or something like that you know because I didn't send her with no drinks we I did go buy all of us breakfast this morning so we all had a good breakfast but um I don't know. I just want to make sure she's okay and she's comfortable. I gave her gloves, wipes, all that because that's why my that's why my my was one that was telling me, Mom, I need the Clorox wipes. I need all that because I'm not gonna touch nothing in the school. You know, she's real. Um. She she could be she's real real safe and she 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 knows what it is about being safe right now and taking care of herself and not touching nobody, not letting nobody touch her. So she'll be alright. So yeah, guys. See y'all next time. Alright, so I picked her up, guys. And she said she had a good time. She wasn't nervous, right? No, I only stayed for like 10 minutes and I started feeling sick for some reason. You started feeling sick? No, not sick, really. No, I just said I feel safe. Oh, I thought you started feeling sick after 2 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, guys. She did pretty good, so I'm proud of her. She's So now... We're at McDonald's to get our lunch and then we're heading home.